Women who have undergone a cesarean section are faced additional risks associated with the surgical procedure. Despite the fact that cesareans are considered relatively safe, it is still important to recognize the warning signs should the unexpected occur. Tips Share will tell you the 5 red flags you should know if you have undergone or are scheduled to have a cesarean section. Watch full video and stay safe after C-section. While it is not unusual to run a slight fever following a cesarean, you should contact your doctor immediately if you either have a temperature over 100 degrees Fahrenheit or a low-grade fever that lasts for more than 24 hours. A high or persistent fever is often the first sign of an infection. Certain women may be at higher risk of infection than others. These include women who are obese, have diabetes, or take long-term steroid medications. A prolonged labor and or excessive blood loss during the delivery can also contribute to the infection risk. While a cesarean section a relatively common surgery, it is anything but minor. While some drainage at the incision site can be expected, any excessive or discolored discharge should be reported to your doctor immediately. Wound infections often don't appear until well after your return home. When infection sets in, the incision will typically be red, swollen, and tender to the touch. Pus-filled abscesses can quickly form around the wound site and lead to the spread of infection to the uterus ovaries, and nearby tissue and organs. Pain and surgery go hand in hand but can usually be treated with the appropriate painkiller. However, the pain is severe, fails to improve, or worsens when you return home. You may need to call the doctor. Severe pain, by contrast, is never considered normal. This not only includes abdominal or pelvic pain but postpartum cramps that fail to get better after the third or fourth day. Even if there are no other signs of illness, severe, persistent pain can often be a sign of an internal infection or complication that requires urgent attention. After surgery, it is not uncommon to feel a little discomfort when inhaling or exhaling, however, breathing problems that persist or worsen is never a good thing. This sort of problem can sometimes occur in women who had been given general anesthesia as part of the caesarean procedure. Anesthesia is known to hamper normal breathing and can often lead to the buildup of mucus in the lungs. Occasionally, this can lead to a condition known as atelectasis in which part of the lung collapses or stops inflating. When this occurs, you may develop a shortness of breath, rapid breathing and heart rate, and a bluish tinge to your skin and lips due to decreased oxygen intake. While late electasis is most common after surgery, it has been known to develop well after a person has returned home from the hospital. Bleeding is as common after a cesarean section as it is following a vaginal birth. This is due to the normal shedding of the placenta following delivery. In most cases, the bleeding will gradually taper off and subside. If vaginal bleeding continues or worsens, it may be the sign of a medical emergency. Heavy bleeding can often result when the placenta grows deeper into the uterine wall than normal and may sometimes require surgery to help stave the bleeding. Call the doctor immediately if you facing following condition. Bleeding that soaks through a pad in 15 minutes. Bleeding that soaks through more than one pad per hour for two consecutive hours. Alternately, if there is no bleeding at all, it may be also be a cause of concern, particularly if you are experiencing pain and fever. The same goes if you have blood in your urine. It's best to have these checked out even if you're not entirely sure what you're experiencing. So. If you face any condition like these five then don't neglect them and meet your doctor as soon as possible. Stay safe after the delivery and be happy with your newborn baby. If the information is helpful, don't forget to share with your friends and give a thumbs up to this video.